I'm going to help them brothers. So like I say, I'm going to help them brothers and sisters to, uh, you know what I mean? To, to, I'm going to help to link it, every, everything together, so to speak. I'm going to call y'all names out. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let you know you're a Hebrew and you have a choice to accept that or not. Simple as that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, simple. So let me go, brothers and sisters, because I think this video had clipped on me already, and I, I wanted to get the just out of, you know, future events. But coming together, man, is where we all got that choice, where we all got that option. Just like one of the brothers said, nigga, you know what I mean? You, you know, who, you know, you owe me money. It was a conversation, and you know what I'm saying that, that, and I probably, I probably cover that, but there was a conversation that took place, man, between two brothers, and one brother didn't believe that black his own people should receive reparations, and another brother believed the differ, begged to differ, and I believe I. I felt what the brother that begged to differ i felt what he was saying that it wasn't you know about you know what i'm saying um you know it wasn't about the people should i say it was about the government allowing what happened to those people you see what i'm saying and and and, and if you follow the 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 behavior of this government you can see that that is still targeting you it's still targeting you you see what i'm saying and and it was about receiving so if you knowing who you are as a black man a black woman then you should feel some type of motherfucking way when they don't you know when they when they when this government saying that oh slavery didn't happen what is that saying for us if slavery didn't happen they're trying to say for it not to be in history uh uh books in school they're saying that it didn't happen now you see what I'm saying? Yeah. See, for when HR 40 passed, then we're going to have a presence here in the United States. These Mexicans ain't going to be coming over here looking down on niggas. And they coming from, you know, a, a probably damn near worse condition than us, but coming over here with white privilege. You see what I'm saying? And then these white folks go adhere to their master. Okay. And, and show some respect to us down here on ground zero. So it ain't going to be an all attack thing. And then when we get recognized through HR 40, then uh, it's going to be zero tolerance policy on police brutality. Zero. Yeah, that's man. Huh, look here. Police going to be showing respect. And they ain't going to be pulling up. And the first thing on their mind is arrest and kill. So come on in, brothers and sisters. I'm finna close out because it clipped on me. It started on a whole new video. So now I got two videos I got to upload. So, um, yeah. So I'm, I'm not going to take up too much more of your time. So, all right. So that's what I'm going to do, man, is... is you know, first of all, I'm going to re get into the Bible and, uh, you know, and let God, you know, impart to us. And then the next video after I read whatever God touched me to read to you, brothers and sisters, uh, then I come with a list of names that I believe God is using. And for us to try to, you know, adhere to what these brothers and sisters saying, and then my message will be to the brothers and sisters that's giving the message do you consider yourself Hebrew? Something like that. You know, just, you know, try to create some type of content. Keep this show going. Create some type of content. So later on, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I mean? Now, you know, we on a whole nother level in trying to, you know, do what we trying to do. So it's baby steps. Like we in our cocoon stage. We caterpillars right now. Matter of fact, we ain't even in a cocoon, nigga. We in, in a caterpillar stage, which means we could be stepped on, nigga, any day now. So, 
All right, man, let me get up out of here, man. Uh, so I catch y'all on another video. Uh, yeah. And like I said, I'm gonna get some bro I'm gonna get the brothers and sisters names together who I feel that, you know, who I hire, is, you know, is touching. And uh and just hopefully, man, that them brothers and sisters consider in their heart Hebrew, that they're Hebrew, that they know that they're Hebrew. You feel me? So, you know what I mean? All right, let me get up out of here, brothers and sisters. And uh I catch y'all on the next uh next uh video which which will be a bible study man you know what i'm saying i don't know man i'll let you know though you know you go see it pop up but yeah wherever god touch me man that's when i'm gonna I'm read it so one love man for my brothers and sisters from from new york all the way to the bay from the bay all the way to new york i love y'all man because a higher loves you man that's our father man you know what I'm saying? And you can't run from his love. Although we forgot about him, you got to think, look, look, nigga, he ain't forgot about us. And he knows that we're not not in our natural state of mind. He knows that we're not pure. He knows that he knows that our blood is pure. Yeah, because Jesus blood is upon us and the blood. That's the way that he sees us. And it says that in the Bible. OK, our ancestors was like, let his blood be upon our children. You see where I'm coming from? Yeah. Royal blood, blood is upon us. We are Hebrews and we have royalty. You feel me? And, and you thinking that, you know, what I'm saying that it's going to be a terrible thing for us to come together. It's not going to be a terrible thing to come for us to come together, brothers and sisters. It's a terrible thing now that we are separated as individuals in the United States of America. When we could be Hebrew America and still be individuals, but receiving what's owed from this government where we can get out here and do what needs to be done as individuals. You know what I mean? Opening up, you know, our grocery stores, opening up our, our, our you know, <laughs> Our stores, our, our, our gas stations, our, our, you know, more barbershops, beauty salons, okay? The list goes on with the economy, okay? You got white folk out here that's in abundance of businesses. You got Mexican folk that's out here with abundance of businesses. Where is the black presence in the economy? So I'm working on getting that book by... um. By Dr. Claude Anderson. If, if if you can get it quicker than me, then get that motherfucking book, nigga, and start building and helping us pull out this shit. Because the real awakening is we going to fill it down here on ground zero, man. Simple shit. Okay, it's going to come from a government or it's going to come from a... A, a, a black organization that's that's that then stood up and like Marcus Garvey did and it's going to send notifications where for us to report to to receive something we can get started on really building and living this life how it's supposed to be lived you know what I'm saying living up under this government here man they got us up on the bridges behind uh 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 um uh grocery stores alleyways begging for 50 cent man you heard me and then i'm a, you know then i could take it as far as interviewing these homeless brothers and sisters and you will see they ain't got nothing they ain't you know ain't nothing stopping them from running their own business and you may say oh well get a job how's you gonna get a job when you're old money your old land your old the ability to go inside of your American bank and ask for a significant business loan. And if you can't do that, then where is life at? You see? So it's a lot of us in this predicament. And if you can't go in that bank and they got they got it to where his sisters and brothers is going in these banks. And it ain't it ain't the white managers no more. They're nine you. It's they it's our brown brothers and sisters that's coming over from Mexico. Okay? And now and now they in the banks. See, as managers. Yeah, and fuck you too.
If you don't want to see black folk come together, I don't give a fuck what nationality you is. Suck some dick. As a matter of fact, eat a bowl of some shit and a cup of that piss, pussy. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that don't want to see black folk together, man, jump off the bridge, nigga. I'm going to tell you what they telling me down here at Ground Zero. Step in front of a train. Kill yourself. Yeah. You hear me? So, okay. <laughs> Let me turn that around now. Is that fair? If you don't want to see black folk come together and have some type of motherfucking real culture about an inheritance about they self as an intelligent force, suck some dick. Okay? And the time come, please believe me, you're going to eat that bowl of shit. And it's going to be way cleaner than what the fuck Russia's doing up over there to them Ukrainians. Any Ukrainians is fighting back, ain't they? Huh. So is that them Ukrainians over there laying in the middle of the street dead? Because you better see, that's how they want niggas in the United States of America. They don't want niggas to come together. They want to kill niggas. Okay? No this shit. It ain't no motherfucking escaping from this shit other than running back home. Where motherfuckers can really come together and build something that'll tell the world. We're here. Simple shit. We're here. That's it. Because right now, up under these false narratives, how they got black folk blood, they want us dead. And they finding every motherfucking way to put us in that jailhouse. They finding every motherfucking way to control every motherfucking part of our life. And just because three strikes long... Uh, you say I think don't exist, man. It's still a fucking narrative that's being pushed up in these motherfucking streets in every city in the United States of America. The police tell your ass one time, and they go warn your ass that second time, and that third time they tore in your vehicle and whatever it is that's on the plate, they go take it. So where that gonna put your dumb ass back at square one, homeless under the fucking bridge with a fucking sheep? Why it's a blizzard out here, raining. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's down here. We got to support the, the black brothers and sisters that's up there in Congress. So they can get, you know, if we wake up and start pushing shit, then... They'll feel that shit brewing up there. It's called Hebrew. They'll feel it is brewing. Oh, shit. It's brewing, man. Yeah. John Conyers, man, how old is he? He's been fucking past the platon to us, nigga. That's why I say I'm going to get y'all niggas' names. And I'm going to hear it. I want to hear a nigga. Man, I'm Hebrew, man. You will never hear nothing disrespectful come out my mouth, brother. Never. Never. All only thing you will hear is honor. I, I, I grew up in the era, man, where we congratulated each other. That's the era you talking to. Nigga, when we threw up this here, man, huh? Yeah, when, what is it, man? Now, that's what era I'm coming from, man. We congratulated each other. This hate shit, where this shit come from? Nigga rolling through the hood, nigga in the bucket, nigga. Huh? Yeah, he come through with some beat in that motherfucker. We congratulating him. We ain't hating on him. Nigga pull up in a bucket, nigga, and uh, understand me, the next week he pull up in a motherfucking Mercedes. We congratulating him, nigga. We ain't hating on him, nigga. 
And just like Bone Thugs and Harmony said in they song, we miss Easy E. We don't miss his six folk. Simple shit. Yeah, we don't miss his car, nigga. We miss him. So you ask yourself, what is it, man, that motherfuckers is missing? The shit, the, the material things that they people had and that people left them? Huh? Or the people, the very people they self. So know this shit, man. It's in the 21st century. Motherfuckers finna hear this little bitty voice here, man. Huh? Because Jesus told me, and it's not on me that I believe, you pussy. Huh? Yeah. It's not on me, blood. He said, with enough faith the size of a mustard seed, you can make mountains move. I just got a, I just that enough faith to say, hey, man, this shit done and over with. Fuck that shit, nigga. If, I, if, I, if I'm being pushed up into this shit and got anything to fucking say, we finna do this shit on this motherfucking watch. Nigga, simple. Because I'm not the, as I look YouTube and browse YouTube, it's a whole bunch of us that's talking like this. So when are we going to connect with each other to be able to put something in the community where we all feeling it down here in the mud? Huh? When is some concrete going to spill up on this mud to make a nice surface? You see where I'm coming from? You get the thinking now. Diamonds in the ruffles. You see me? It's some motherfucking concrete got to be laid over that. Br bring those diamonds out, right? And put some concrete over there and get to laying up these beams to make a what? Okay, build something that's substantial. And Jesus said, don't build it on sand. That's why we got to lay that concrete down first. You see what I'm saying? Lay them beams up under there, mate. You hear me now. This is what black folk need to do, where it's touching ground zero down here. And then, and then, then you will see. But you talking to the horse right now. Yeah, you talking to the horse. And I'm talking to who? The, the other horses. So we'll know. We'll know, nigga. Because like I said, it wasn't no news in the media, nigga. None, nigga. Huh? Until what? Will smack who? Chris. Right or wrong, nigga? Huh? Right or wrong? Okay, then. So that's what's that letting you know. That everything that that's coming out my mouth, nigga, is a big-ass warning to you, nigga, to come the fuck home to your father. A higher. We're royalty down here, nigga. Diamonds in the ruffles where we have our own government. That ain't even set up because niggas are scared to take office. <laughs> Shit. And like I said, whatever it is, we got to fill this down here ground zero. So it ain't no Martin Luther King already had a dream. You see what I'm saying? So the shit that I'm talking, man, is not no fucking dream, nigga. It's the real motherfucking deal. And I don't give a fuck who you is and what the fuck you believe in. As long as you a black man, a black woman, you stand a chance in the 21st century to live out your godhood. To live out your priesthood from up under these bridges, from up under these tents, from smoking that thief, from shooting up that black. And from being whatever derogatory way of life that we have been living, we coming from that bullshit mud. Them pimps, them players, them hustlers, them dope boys, them, 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 them prostitutes, whatever, whatever slum shit that we're in, that sickness is finna be pure. And we're finna come into a fucking nation of people. Fuck you. And if you don't want to see it happen, then yeah, man, stay away from this channel, man. Huh? And please stay the fuck out our way. Cause <laughs> stay the fuck out our way. Huh? It's no more sleepy shit going on. You see what I'm saying? You want to be sleep up under that false narrative where Mitch McConnell can talk how the fuck they want to talk? Then stay there. Stay there, nigga. 
Because while we on a whole nother motherfucking page and a whole nother level, nigga, please believe me, we'll learn how to keep tabs. This is how the white people know how to, you know, do that caring shit. Then black folk will be the same way toward, you know, motherfuckers that, that still carrying that white shit in their head. You see what I'm saying? And none of that bullshit with Chris, what, what Will doing, did to Chris, it won't be none of that shit in, in, in our kingdom or Hebrews. No, nah, nigga. Hell, motherfucker, no. Nah. What the fuck is, what? That shit is unheard of from way back when Moses told them niggas, what is you doing? You're supposed to be brothers. And you, and that's what's going on. That's why I say we charging genocide on this show, niggas. And if I could come with an organization, please believe me, I didn't learn from every motherfucking, all of ours, nigga. I didn't learn, nigga, from all our mistakes, nigga. Huh? So, like I said, it's not go just be me is what I'm saying, nigga. It's a whole bunch of motherfuckers like me, nigga. So, I'm just talking to my 144,000 brothers and sisters that's out there that's woke. This is how we hard we got to hit back for motherfuckers down here ground zero who holding up this motherfucking nation. Yeah, we got to feel that shit down here, man. Down here. And that's what HR 40 was for niggas down here ground zero to feel that shit. But we can go to these empty lots that's been empty for five and ten years and and go to the city of that, uh, go to the uh to uh the city uh building and ask who owns the property. Finding out these motherfuckers that own this property that's been open, uh, this property that's been vacant for, for five years, they live way out there in LA or they live way out there in the bay. But you got property way out here in, in San Joaquin, so to speak. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, black folk, man. You no, know, I, you know, I ain't got to tell them shit. I'm just saying black folk got I, they, they recognition. We got kicked back some money. Man, you, I noticed your piece of property been vacant, man, for about five years. About five years. I know I've been out here for six. You see what I'm saying? Huh, huh, huh. Yeah, man. Ain't nobody taking care of this property. Ain't nobody doing nothing to this property. And I noticed, I see, I got the printout that say you bought it for 18000 Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, you ain't doing nothing with it, man. Let me throw you, let me throw you. Nah, let me throw you 20 G's right for it, man. Don't forget, man, I got to get, <laughs> I got to tilt it. I got to, you know, go to Home Depot, build it up. I got things I have to do too, brother, but I'm noticing you just sitting on it. Can I buy it off for you? Because I'm really out here living this, man. You see me now? <laughs> yeah. You know, that's what them reparations go do for us down here on ground zero. Where, where the police ain't can't come up to you and say nothing. Right now, you living in your RV. You, uh, uh, you know, don't got no land or nothing, man. You yourself is considered against the law. And the only thing they trying to do now is bringing about to where they can start rounding motherfuckers up. And they can put them on these labels like I've been telling you. And the only thing I gotta do is read the book, Behold a Pale Horse. That's another motherfucker that gave his life for these truths to marinate and serenade up down here in Ground Zero. This is where all the knowledge at down here, man. Huh? Yeah. Okay? And this is what that nuclear strike is go do is wipe us all the fuck out because this is where it's at, just in the Ground Zero. And they want everything at this Ground Zero to be wiped the fuck out so they could come back with their anti-gravity vehicles, where they could come back and build their community in how they want it, with anti-gravity vehicles flying in the sky, with 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 with, with electrical vehicles, you know, we in electrical vehicles. Okay, look up that. Who listen to this term? Who killed the electrical car? Look that shit up in California. So you can see when you look at that documentary, you can see the big recedings. We've been set back on purpose. This whole motherfucking, this whole motherfucking nation in the United States of America, white people, black people, Mexican people, everybody in this motherfucking United States been set back. 
when you look at that video. If the if you took the electrical cars and you got us all still operating on fossil fuels, you see where I'm coming from? Yeah, man. So who do we got to appeal to? The Rothschilds? And if I got to appeal to any motherfucking uh, uh, elites, the only thing I got to say to you, man, is push the button, brother, sisters. That's it. Just push it. Because if you're not going to let us do what humans do naturally, then you might as well push that button, man. Push that motherfucker today. I'm sorry. Because we got to rise. We got to come up out of that state as a nation of people so we can feel free and not held in bondage no more. Yeah. So that's the only thing I can say to the elites up there in the Navy who got access to nuclear weapons. Man, because <laughs> we going to rise. We got to wake up as human beings. Okay. Cause as once black folk wake up, I'm telling you, we got to we got to till Mother Earth back to health, man. We got to. And they got anti gravity vehicles now. It ain't nothing for us to lay down uh, something helpful, nice, helpful road. Well, you know where we can hover our our uh, our, our vehicles. We've been held back on purpose. That's all I'm trying to say. And knowing that we've been held back on purpose, let's wake up with purpose to fix this. A lot of what, whosoever our enemies are, man, look, our enemies can become our friends. And Jesus showed us that. That's why I told the elites, if you ain't gonna let us rise and wake up, brothers and sisters, push the button. And then, cause we all dead already, as I'm talking to you, we dead already. We dead. Yes, we dead. Living in this system, how we living in this system and how United States of America is not adhering to the original sin to help the present black folk of today to wake the fuck up, to open up their own laundry mat. 